to review the equipment that we're going to need um, for older adults it's often better to use a smaller gauge needle. So remember that when we talk about gauge sizes, the lower the number, the bigger the, the needle is. And so for older adults, because their veins are, tend to be more fragile, the smaller gauge like a 24 or 26 can be more effective. But I have also seen nurses that say, no, they prefer to use a 20 or 22 on an older adult. So you've, you've got to kind of think about what is the purpose of the IV. For instance, if you are going to need to run any kind of blood or blood products through, the recommendation is still to use a large gauge, like a 16 to 18. But you will also see sometimes blood products given through a 20 or 22. Usually 20 is the kind of minimum, I think, that is accepted in the industry. But again, review your policies at your institution. There are times that if you've got a resident with a really small vein, you may need to go to a butterfly needle, that you'll find that it's easier to start the IV if you have a very small needle. So you've got to cater it to, to what are, is the, the need of that individual that you're working with. Other equipment that you're going to need is don't forget your gloves. And if, if you've been to um, school a long time ago, you may have even learned to start IVs without gloves on. But that is no longer acceptable because there is the possibility, a very real possibility, that you're going to be exposed to blood. So, and you'll see some bad habits out there. For instance, sometimes you'll see nurses that will take off the tip of one of the fingers. Well, then what's the point of having the gloves on anyway? So <clears throat> you do want to have gloves on by the time you're actually doing the start. You'll need an IV start kit. And if it's going to be a saline lock, you will want extension tubing um, to, to be present also. You'll need saline and usually Often now you'll have the pre-filled saline syringes, but if not, you'll draw up saline into a syringe. You'll need syringes. Um, there are some institutions that do like to use a local anesthetic. Most places do not, but again, know your institution and what your physician's orders are. Then if you are going to be starting the infusion, you'll need your IV tubing and your IV solution. So there are... Um, a couple of options for tourniquets. And so with older adults, what you want to think about is if they do have very fragile veins, you might want to opt to use a blood pressure cuff rather than a traditional tourniquet. Um, the, the tourniquet problem with a, a traditional one like the blue one in the picture is that it, it if it's put on too tight, again, you can kind of predispose to blowing the, the resident's veins. If you use a blood pressure cuff, you can just turn it upside down where those, um, the tubing is not in your way. And you want to inflate it to just below where that resident's normal diastolic blood pressure is. So um, in, if you're not sure, around 50 millimeters of mercury is probably safe and it'll give you a good distension of the veins, but less likely to blow the veins. So keep that in mind as an, as an option.